Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or even good evening. My name is John K. Donnelly, and I am Dean of Students at Black River Public School. I am so very honored and happy to welcome you to our first ever online honors assembly. Students, <laughs> students at Black River achieve in a number of ways, and I'd like to highlight both the honor roll and the dean's list and the accomplishments that are contained therein. Students who earn between a 3.0 and a 3.49, between a solid B and just below a B plus grade point average, qualify for the honor roll. A comprehensive list of students who earned this distinction last semester is currently online on the school's website. Additionally, we have students who continue to excel and beyond the honor roll status. Each semester, we have over 100 students who qualify for the dean's list. These students have earned between a 3.5 and, with AP grades in consideration, a 4.3 GPA. We are so extremely proud of these students and all of our students. Stay safe, stay healthy. You are greatly missed and very appreciated. Thank you. Hi, my name is Keely Morse, and I'm here to present the Black River History Department Award for 2020 for a high school senior. And Abraham Lincoln once said, whatever you are, be a good one. Well, this student is a great one. This student is very kind, intelligent, great analytical skills, very persistent with his work, great work habits, industrious, polite to everyone in the building, um, really great all-around human being. Um, this student has had all A's in all of his history classes, never an A minus, always straight A's. Um, did phenomenal work for big history as a freshman, as a sophomore. Did amazing work for me in AP US history, earning a five out of five on the AP College Board exam. Um, is a junior, was on that great We the People team that did so well in Washington, DC. Moreover, did economics as a junior. Finally, here as a senior, this uh, student has done AP Human Geography and has also done AP European History, where he's doing great, amazing work in those classes. This year, our 2020 History Department Award winner is Ashan Rajani, who's a great all-around human being. He will always find success as long as he continues to be the person that he is, that I and other history teachers saw every day in the classroom amazing person and we wish Ashan Rajani and all the other students of 2020 the best of luck as they move forward in life. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nathan Meyer and I chair the math department at Black River Public School and I am pleased this year to announce our senior math department award winner as Will Anderson. Will, you've done a fabulous job with mathematics at Black River. We're very impressed. One of the things I would like to do to honor you, though, is to actually read a portion of the letter of recommendation that I wrote for you for college. I think it really honors what you've done here at Black River well, and it speaks highly of, of all the great things you've accomplished. So I'm going to read a portion of that. Bear with me. Here we go. Will Anderson was a student of mine for three years. Over the course of those three years, he was enrolled in my advanced algebra geometry course as a freshman. He was an AP Calculus AB as a junior. And uh, he took my project-based hiking and biking wilderness course, as well as my uh, national park adventure to California. Will demonstrated a strong mathematical ability. He has a keen sense of logic. And in these courses, Will demonstrated all of that and his creative problem-solving skills with enthusiasm for learning. He made choices that would challenge his abilities to grow and shape his understanding of the world outside of academia. 
In mathematics, Will demonstrates mastery of concepts, including trigonometry, geometric proof, and the function studies as a freshman in my advanced algebra geometry course. He also mastered learning both in differentiation and integration for calculus as a junior in my courses. These skills display his ability to think crit critically about complex formulas and to apply them as needed to find solutions. On the rare occasion that Will struggled, he seeks to act to actively engage in self-improvement. Will has chosen elective courses for me with the intent of gaining experiential learning in biology, nature, and preservation. He is enrolled in my Project Term Wilderness trip to Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore and Western Adventure exploring California's national parks. On both trips, we focus on the preservation of natural resources and the impact that human habitation and interaction has on the environment. Will is a model student and citizen. He presented his school well, both in education and in his polite interactions with park rangers and engagement with the physical challenges of hiking through the wilderness. Will values the resources surrounding him and is mindful of his environmental impact on a global scale. Will Anderson will find success in all that he does. He holds himself to high standards. He pursues personal and group success and diligently completes everything he puts his mind to. Will, you deserve this mathematical award. What's more is you deserve a great education, and we thank you so much for engaging in the, all of your time at Black River Public School. Thank you. I am happy to co-present this year's math award with Mr. Meyer. Um, the student who won this math award has an extreme dedication to math, uh, getting up before 6 a.m. multiple times to drive across the state and participate in some competitions when we didn't even have school that day, um, also completing several tests in math team for the last several years and completing problems that take a long time to finish. Some of those math team problems could take us 60 minutes where we just be working on the board and trying to figure out the answer together. Um, Will Anderson, your dedication to math and your positivity is astounding. Uh, I'm very happy that you, you got this award. It is well deserved. I'm Mrs. Miskelly. I have the privilege to give the 2020 Science Department Award this year. So as we all know, science includes making observations, asking questions, a lot of questions, and solving problems. The 2020 winner this year is really good at all of those things and a lot of other things. He or she has a lot of interests and to make this a little bit more interesting, oh, that's not even funny, interesting. Um, we're going to do kind of a scavenger hunt and see if we can solve the problem, maybe ask some questions, and try to figure out who our 2020 winner is. So let's go. So how this is going to work, we're going to look at clues, and then we're going to try to solve the clues and find the next clue, and at the end we're going to figure out who the 2020 Science Department Award winner is. So let's go. Okay, here's our first clue. Sub this subject in this area in the house have much in common. Here's my hint. Mrs. Miskelly does not love this subject, unlike the 2020 Science Department winner. So I wonder if you figured it out. I think I did. It's the kitchen. And there it is. There's the answer to the first clue. That subject is chemistry that the 2020 Science Department award winner absolutely loves. So on the back, let's look at the next clue. The winner spent time in this country during one project term. Go to a place that has that, so I can't read. Go to a place that a common food from that country is kept. Aha, where is food kept? Refrigerator, pantry. Let's look in here. All right, there it is. I see the answer to the second clue. It's Italy, next to the pasta. Probably a bad joke. All right. So let's look for the next one. It says, this was an interest of the winners during another project term. Look at a room that would be a good place to practice this skill. Aha, I know, an exercise room. Let's look around, look around. Oh, I see something. It's boxing gloves. This person, or excuse me, the winner took a project term in boxing. All right, let's look at the next one. Okay, this winner, or this is the major that the 2020 winner hopes to have in college. Look in the room that shows this degree. Hmm. Okay, this is a tough one, but I think I figured it out. Degree, 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 aha! It's an engineering degree. The winner hopes to be an engineer, which he or she definitely will be. 
All right, let's look at the next clue here. Oops, I don't take this off my wall. Okay, the winner spent many hours practicing this sport. Hmm, go to an area where you could practice this. Kind of, huh, that's a... Okay, so here I am outside. There's water, there's water. Aha, here's the other one. Here's the answer. Swimming, okay, found it. So you could kind of practice that in a hot tub. So let's see. Let's see what we've got here. We're getting down to it. This winter spent countless hours working to prepare for this every spring and fall. Go to a place where you could watch a performance if you couldn't go. Like if it was stay home, stay safe, and you couldn't leave your house. Where would you watch a performance? Hmm. You're watching on your TV. Set crew. The 2020 winner has been part of set crew for years. Oh, that was easier. All right. Next one. The winner will be announced at the next area. Go to a place where vehicles are kept. Something like this will bring this student to K College in the fall. Aha. Vehicles. Vehicles. I bet it's a car. There we are. The cars. Congratulations, Paige Ewald, the 2020 Science Department winner. Woohoo! So again, a big congratulations to our 2020 Science Department Award winner, Paige Ewald. Woo! Good luck next year, Paige. We'll all be rooting for you. We're gonna miss you a ton. Thanks. <laughs> Hey all you cool cats and kittens, Miss Pyle here. Welcome to my home. I have the honor of speaking about this year's English Department Award winner. Uh, when thinking about this individual, a line from a Margaret Atwood poem called Spelling kept running through my head. The line goes, a word after a word after a word is power. Um, and this year's honoree understands the power of words and exemplifies it in multiple ways. She writes creatively and critically carefully crafting her word choice for maximum effect. She exemplifies a passion for the power of storytelling, whether through reading and discussing a classic piece of literature or embodying it on stage. She can dive deep into a poem and convey the emotion found within through reciting it in poetry out loud. I wish Lane Kibler, this year's English Department Award winner, all the best as she pursues a degree in creative writing and a deeper understanding of the power words have over us all. Thank you. Stay safe and well. Hola y buenos dias. The Spanish department is very excited to be able to recognize two outstanding students this year. First, we are thrilled to honor Will Anderson with our departmental award. Will took advantage of every class that we offer, including the AP Spanish language and Spanish literature, and in both classes, he proved himself to be extremely talented and hardworking, kind and helpful to his classmates, as well as being able to carry on discussions about pretty challenging topics such as meta literature and existentialism. Every Spanish teacher that has taught Will is delighted to be able to recognize someone so talented and deserving. We would also like to recognize a junior, Rachel Serrier, who has been er awarded the Michigan Seal of Biliteracy. This is earned by students who exhibit language proficiency in English and at least one additional world language. Rachel has taken AP English language, AP Spanish literature, as well as additional Spanish classes at Hope College. We are very proud of her. If you see or talk to Will or Rachel, please be sure to congratulate them. Thank you. Hello. Um, every year I look forward to presenting the Fine Arts Department Award for Visual Arts. And this is a completely unusual circumstance and I'm really out of my element. I'm used to standing in front of a large gathering of Black River family and community students. And I love recognizing the work of seniors. This year we had a lot of very good uh, candidates for the Art Department Award. However, we have to choose just one. In that case, the kinds of things looked for in the student that is this year's award winner has to do with setting an example for others, working in studio time, being productive, 
but also being able to balance being social and still being able to complete a quantity of work that's required, but also go beyond those requirements. It's not necessarily about a student that gets an A, in this case it is, but it's also about a student that goes above and beyond those things. Um, I mentioned hard work, and that's something that is becoming increasingly more challenging for students in this 21st century in that staying focused and working through a sustained investigation for an advanced placement studio drawing portfolio requires a great deal of work, focus, concentration, and due diligence. The other thing is growth and how a student over time uh, has their work mature and change and that it becomes, uh, say, a body of work for an AP portfolio that um, is significant. Um, this year's award winner demonstrates all of those things. Um, integrity, honesty, hard work, perseverance, creativity, and expressing those creative ideas. And when coming against challenges and things that are difficult, working through them, finding a way to go past and move beyond rather than get stuck or um, choose not to work on something and see it through. So I'm pleased to announce this year's Fine Arts Visual Art Department Award goes to Lauren Cooper. Congratulations, Lauren. Hello. Alexa Malash is the recipient of this year's National Orchestra Award. She has been an active participant in the orchestra program at Black River through all of middle school and high school, performed at both district and state solo and ensemble, earning first division ratings every time, and participated in multiple advanced orchestra trips. Alexa is a hard worker, a leader, and a team player. She also acted as my TA this year for a prep orchestra and was a positive role model for the younger students, as well as a huge help running sectionals and working with individuals. Alexa's positivity and passion for music will be missed as she moves on next year. Congratulations, Alexa. Hello, my name is Rachel Andrews, and I am here to present the National School Choral Award given in recognition of singular merit, ability, and achievement, of outstanding contributions to the success of the school vocal program, and an unusual degree of loyalty, cooperation, and high qualities of conduct. The student receiving this award for the class of 2020 has been a member of our choir program since sixth grade. A quiet leader, this student has always been a diligent ensemble member and outstanding musician. Even in the face of much personal hardship, he managed to continue working hard and being a fully dedicated member of our program. I have always appreciated his calm demeanor and enjoyed working with him throughout the past seven years. I am so happy to present this year's National School Choral Award to Caden Mott. Congratulations. Hello, I'm here to present this year's John Philip Sousa Music Award to an outstanding senior who has spent the last seven years devoting himself to our music program and he has done so many things behind the scenes to make sure things work around here. I'm very happy to award Jacob Harrelson the John Philip Sousa Award for this year. Thank you so much for all your hard work and dedication, Jacob. And please don't forget to come back and visit. Hi, it's my pleasure to give the award for yearbook this year. The year yearbook award goes to a graduating senior who has been on our staff for two years. I'm so pleased that she joined our staff last year. At first she was a little shy and Actually, she had a hard time expressing her opinion, and then at the end of the school year, I wasn't really sure whether she was going to come back for this year, and I was just so happy to hear that she was going to come back, and then I asked her if she would be editor. I think it scared her a little bit, but she has just been doing a fantastic job this year, 
She's a very, very organized person and probably one of the most dependable students I have ever had in yearbook. And it is my pleasure this year to give the, the yearbook award to graduating senior Noemi Lozano. Hello everyone. I'm honored to announce our AP Scholars at Black River Public School for 2020. Black River is proud of its advanced placement offerings and the work that our students do in these rigorous courses. The advanced placement program at our school is recognized for its excellence both in the state of Michigan and also in our nation. We take pride in the offerings our students may choose here. The students who take us up on these AP offerings are opting for very challenging courses and examinations that, if performance is high, can earn them credit for college in their future. Today we recognize the accomplishments of our advanced placement students in the categories of AP Scholar, AP Scholar with Honor, and AP Scholar with Distinction. AP Scholar, granted to students who receive scores of three or higher on, of three or higher on three or more AP exams. Our AP Scholars are Lil Lily Bogiano, Riley Bukema, Nelson Hubble, Akshitha Karthikian, Lane Kibler, Joshua Laux, Jonathan Lowry, Ishan Rajani, Madeline Rule, and Emma Saunders. Congratulations. We also have AP Scholars with Honor. These are grant, this is granted to students who receive an average score of at least 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on four or more of these exams. Our AP Scholars with honor are Will Anderson, Jacob Harrelson, and Simon Hodson. Congratulations to you. The last category is AP Scholar with Distinction. This is granted to students who receive an average score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. Black River has one AP Scholar with Distinction this year and her name is Mariel Vanderskeur. Congratulations and great work. And now we recognize those students who are receiving academic letters of recognition. The academic letters of recognition are awarded to students receiving A's in all of their classes in consecutive semesters at Black River. Today, we celebrate students who have achieved this significant goal at two different levels. The first being five consecutive semesters of all A's, and then also those who have maintained seven consecutive semesters of all A's. First, those with five semesters. Sarah Elferink, Jay Lee Bentley, Catherine Bonello, Sadie Brooks, Christian Cummings, Rebecca Harrelson, Ariana Newberry, Mia Phillips, Anderson Powers, Emma Yonker, and Bennett Zink. Congratulations for five semesters of straight A's. Those with seven consecutive semesters of straight A's are as follows. Paige Ewald, Lane Kibler, Ishan Rajani, and Mariel Vanderskur. Congratulations to you. What a fine, fine accomplishment. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic competition for recognition and scholarships that began in 1955. High school students enter the National Merit Program by taking the PSAT, National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test, which serves as an initial screen of approximately 1.6 million entrants each year. Of the 1.6 million entrants, some 50,000 with the highest PSAT selection index scores qualify for recognition in the National Merit Scholarship Program. In September, these high scorers are notified through their schools that they have qualified as either a commended student or a semifinalist. In late September, about 34,000 or 2.125% of the original 1.6 million entrants receive letters of commendation and recognition of their outstanding academic promise. 
In early September, 16,000, or about 1% of the 1.6 million original students are notified they have qualified as semi-finalists. In February, some 15,000, less than 1% of the original 1.6 million entrants advanced to finalist standing. High school leaders are notified and provided with a certificate to present to each finalist. This year, I was notified. One of your classmates has earned this distinction. Today, we recognize Will Anderson as a National Merit Scholarship finalist. Congratulations, Will. Hi, everybody. I wish we could do this in person. I hope everyone is doing well. Each member of National Honor Society is selected on the basis of their exemplary record of scholarship, leadership, character, and service. The graduating seniors embody all of these characteristics. I'd like to recognize all of your efforts this year. Um, your commitment to service is shown in the number of service projects that we were able to do. And you guys did a great job planning and executing, so congratulations. I'd like to recognize a few individuals as well. First of all, I wanna recognize Maddie Rule and Emma Saunders because they really stepped up and showed a commitment to service. Last year as juniors, they were sort of thrust into the role of um, running the blood drive without a whole lot of preparation. They stepped up, they planned, they executed, they recruited, they did a great job. And they did it again this fall. So Maddie and Emma, thank you so much for your service. I also want to recognize the leadership of our executive board this year. Um, Mariel, you did a great job as secretary, managing our attendance, tracking members, um, doing our correspondence. Simon, wonderful job as treasurer, um, managing our finances, handling cash flow, and contributing to the overall leadership of the exec board. Becca Harrelson, a junior, Fantastic job as vice president, and I have every confidence that your calm, cool, collected leadership will carry us through no matter what happens next year. Finally, I want to recognize our president, Akshita. You did a phenomenal job this year. Your passion was evident in everything that you did. Um, you planned, you delegated. And because of your efforts, we did so many service projects, community projects, charitable goods, and I thank you for all of your dedication and service to National Honor Society. If this were a typical honors assembly, I would call each of you up here individually and give you the gold cord. Um, I can't do that, so I wanted to show it to you. I want to just let each and every one of you know that I'm sad that we can't do this in person, but I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity that I've had to work with each and every one of you. I wish all of our graduating seniors the very best of luck for your future. Um, I know that you will continue to exemplify those characteristics that we stress in National Honor Society, scholarship, leadership, character, and service. Have a wonderful night, everybody, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye. I am presenting the award for the a couple math tests, the Michigan Mathematics Prize Competition, also called the MMPC, and the American Mathematics Competition, the AMC, both the 10 and the 12, which are two separate tests. This year we had many students compete, probably about 20 students competed in both um, of those tests, some overlaps there, and we had some top scores that came in very well. Um, Matthew Harrelson won the MMPC and came in the top 5% in the state. Uh, that's the only Michigan state test. Um, second place 
finisher at Black River was Rebecca Harrelson, and our third place finisher was Madeline Reinsberger. All three of those students were well within the top 20% in the whole state. Moving on to the AMC, we had some good finishes there. Um, again, Matthew Harrelson was the school winner. Going on to the AIME, um, which is the invitational only mathematics competition, um, we have not had a student go to that competition in the past decade, so that was phenomenal. Madeline Reinsberger came in second in the AMC 10, and you'll probably hear those two names for the next couple of years as well. Both are freshmen and both um, very good at mathematics and great at competing. In the AMC 12, which is open to juniors and seniors only, we had our winner is Simon Hodson. Second place was Will Anderson, and third place was Jacob Harrelson. Congratulations to all the students who, who competed on these tests, and fantastic showing for those of you that came in our top three. Hey seniors, Coach Lawton here. Uh, I'll be presenting two awards for the uh, senior awards presentation. The first is the 12 season River Rat Award. This award goes to student athletes who have completed 12 seasons of a high school sport. Uh, they played three different seasons, fall, winter, and spring, all four years of their high school career. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the greatest honors that a high school athlete can earn. And it's a pretty good accomplishment considering it's done at one of the best schools academically in the state. Uh, these students have basically been in season since before their freshman year all the way through after graduation of their senior year. Uh, I've had the privilege to coach both of these uh, young ladies and they are great student athletes. They are great people and um, it's been a privilege to get to know them throughout the last four years. Earning the 12 season River Rat Awards are Rebecca Morin and Sage Winia. Congra congratulations girls. The second award I'll be presenting is the Academic All-Conference Award. This award is presented to graduating seniors who have earned a, uh, a minimum of two varsity letters and have a cumulative GPA of a 3.33 or above. These athletes earning the Academic All-Conference Award are Bryson Anderson, Elliot Bastiance, Olivia Byers-Johnson, Kate DeYoung, Clay Eiley, Noemi Lozano, Rebecca Morin, and Charlie Sly. Congratulations. Greetings. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award is given each year to a senior student. This happens to students all over uh, Michigan and all over the nation. It's a, a well-known contest. This award recognizes and rewards individuals who possess the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism in their schools, homes, and communities. These students are selected by their teachers and peers because they demonstrate these qualities to an outstanding degree. This year, the Black River community is pleased to present this award to Noah Millen. Congratulations, Noah. Hi, I'm Kessie Wright, college advisor at Black River Public School. Today, I get to share with you the Harvard Prize Book Award. The Harvard Prize Book Program was established by Harvard alumni in 1910 as part of an effort to attract the attention of talented young students to the opportunities at the college. In the program's first years, a prize book was awarded at only a handful of schools in the New England area. Today, nearly 2,000 prize books sponsored by local Harvard alumni are awarded in schools all over the world. The prize book is awarded to an outstanding student in the next to graduating class, who displays excellence in scholarship and high character, combined with achievement in other fields. The winners of this award, through their intelligence and variety of achievement, exemplify Harvard's commitment to excellence. Black River's winner for this year's Harvard Book Prize is Jonathan Lowry. Congratulations, Jonathan.
I'm Stacy Timmerman, Director of Scholarships at the Community Foundation of the Holland Zealand area. Thank you to Ms. Wright and the Black River Selection Committee on your help with our process this year. Foundation scholarships are made possible through the generosity of many individuals, businesses, and families. This year we will give well over $900,000 in awards. Three Black River graduating seniors have earned foundation scholarships. First, Emma Saunders has won the Ian Garr Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship was established in 2008 to honor and celebrate Ian's life, quick wit, musical talent, and academic achievement. The award recognizes a Black River senior with an avid interest and proficiency in music, writing, or math. Next, Ryan Haru will be the recipient of the renewable Chris Martin Memorial Art Scholarship. This award was established in memory of a young man who, despite struggling with most of his classwork, found satisfaction and pride in his ability to draw and create challenging visual images. Selection is based on citizenship and interest in learning and continuously improving in the visual arts. And last, Jacob Harrelson is one of five area-wide winners of the University of Michigan Club of Holland Scholarship. This award recognizes students based on their academic achievement, leadership, and strong essays about why Michigan is the best school for them. Emma, Ryan, and Jacob, the Community Foundation congratulates you and we wish you the very best as you pursue your degrees. I now proudly announce the Head of School Leadership Award. This award is earned by a student showing not only great leadership qualities within the Black River School walls, but also in our community. Great leaders lead when it's difficult. They lead when others second guess them, when others disagree with them, possibly even publicly, possibly even in an unkind manner. They lead by example, not by bragging to others or overvaluing their role, Leaders work to benefit others and sometimes make decisions that go against the popular opinion. While I made this selection for all of the reasons that I stated before about leadership and more, this, leader, this year's recipient leads in so many, even more ways at BR. Earlier in high school, she came to Mrs. Scrotenborg with concerns for student mental health. Not just concerns, but ideas to help ease stress of students. Two years ago, as a sophomore, she sat in a student discussion group in my office regarding the Parkland shooting and gave thoughts on the student walkout that was planned across our nation. Teachers agree. Miss Sinclair states that although she is often recognized for her work with more established clubs and organizations like National, Merit, uh, like National Honor Society and Student Council, her work in leadership with Girl Up has been wonderful for this school. She cares for her fellow students and worked to provide help and supplies to those who needed them through that group. These acts of leadership were not made with bravado, not with a raised voice to shout above others or by putting herself first. They were quiet and caring acts for all of our students. Please help me recognize Mariel Vanderskur for earning the 2020 Head of School Leadership Award. And now for the announcement of our salutatorian and our valedictorian. I'm inspired by our students, by all of them, whether they received an award here today or, or not, I'm glad that we can take some time to celebrate them even in this difficult time. The final recognitions of this honors assembly continue into the theme of inspiring accomplishments. These last individuals are the salutatorian and valedictorian for this class of 2020. They are exemplary students. They are hardworking students. They have given their all to doing their best in their academics here at Black River. These awards are based on being the top of the class as these students have earned the top grade point averages for this year's group of seniors. This is a great feat at any school. This is an incredible feat at Black River, the number one open enrollment high school in the state of Michigan. We will begin with the 2020 Black River Salutatorians. Yes, we have two this year. Our first Salutatorian has taken the following advanced placement courses. 
English language, physics, AP biology, AP chemistry, English literature, statistics, and US history, all of those AP offerings here at Black River. Also, as an AP scholar, she excels in the examinations as well. Her academic success has allowed her to seize opportunities away from Black River as she has also gone to Hope College. This is for advanced mathematics courses including Calculus II and Multivariable Math I. With all of this, she made time to be a part of our 2019 We the People team that finished in the top 10 in our nation. Here's what some teachers had to say. Mrs. Reinhardt states that she was in my 10th grade math class as a 9th grader when we noticed her potential. We got her working ahead and she finished all of 10th grade math, all of 11th grade math, and all of pre-calculus in one year. Mrs. Rowe describes her as a voracious reader and a scholarly researcher. The student does more than get great grades though. She is described by Mr. Morris as a brilliant and very caring person who likes to delve deep into law, politics, and history. Congratulations to Akshitha Karthikeyan, one of your 2020 salutatorians. Our second salutatorian has also thrived at Black River and is taking the following advanced placement courses here at Black River, including AP Calculus, US History, English Language, Environmental Science, AP Biology, European History, Human Geography, Physics, and was also recognized as an AP Scholar this, during this assembly. His academic successes have also allowed him to be a dual enrolled student at Hope College to take calculus there. Remember again of our 2019 top 10 finals We the People team. He dedicates his time to doing everything incredibly well, all the while finding time to earn numerous Division I ratings at district and state solo and ensemble festivals playing the viola. Here's what some teachers have said. Mr. Bittrick states the following. I was so honored to have, you, to have had you as a student of science and a member of my CAP for three years. I was always impressed by your level of maturity, integrity, and intelligence. It has been a pleasure watching you grow and mature through your high school career. I take secret pride in the success of my former CAP students, and the level of pride that I have in you is second to none. I'm excited to see what you have in store for the future of this world. Dr. Dykhouse states that after the student did a deep dive into the history of adhesives, Quote, he certainly has shown his stick to itness through applying the fine writing skills honed in big history investigations to essays and AP histories, uh, history examinations, and other academic subjects. With excitement, we await to see how he contributes to the next threshold of increasing complexity through his studies at the University of Michigan and beyond. Congratulations to Ishan Rajani, one of your 2020 Black River salutatorians. and our valedictorian. The honor of valedictorian is earned by the student with the highest grade point average of a class, or if you rather, the number one ranked student of a graduating class. At Black River, the student who earns the honor of valedictorian has the highest grade point average of a class that consists of students that will have 100% four-year university and college acceptance. A class of seniors at a high school that continues to be ranked as a top school by national publications. Also, vying for this particular distinction are students who come here because they want academic challenge. They often hope to earn college credit and aspire for scholarships and opportunities for college. Students and families choose Black River for the academic rigor and opportunity, not because of district boundaries. To earn this honor, our valedictorian chose to take the following Black River Advanced Placement offerings. AP Statistics, AP Calculus, AP U.S. History, AP Chemistry, AP U.S. Government, AP Seminar, AP 2D Art and Design, AP Environmental Science, AP English Language, and AP English Literature. While taking these classes is impressive, your valedictorian is also recognized as an advanced placement scholar with distinction. She doesn't just take the AP classes, she also rocks the exams. This award is about being the top of the class, but our valedictorian is more than a person with the highest GPA. 
I told you earlier about her incredible leadership here at Black River and how impressed I am personally with her maturity and genuine care for others. Here are a couple quotes from her teachers that go beyond earning great grades. From Mr. Bittrick, I remember a painting, an artist statement that you created in sixth grade. It was your interpretation of the beginning of the universe. I recall being blown away by the level of complexity of your artwork and the in-depth perspective of your philosophical viewpoint expressed in your artist statement. Occasionally, I have a young sixth grade student that wows me. You were just that student. Mrs. Rowe says that she researched topics involving women's rights in education and was an excellent example to her peers about what it looks like to engage in education in a meaningful way. She also states, I look forward to the ways she will change the world for women and all people in the years to come. Please help me recognize the valedictorian for Black River's class of 2020, Mariel Vanderskeur. Congratulations, Mariel. In closing today, I just want to say what a year this has been. And I want to say thank you to the Black River teachers and staff. I am in absolute awe of how you work with these young people. I hope you feel energized and honored by their achievements. Without you, none of this would have happened. Thank you to the parents and family members. You've honored us by choosing this school for your children. Thank you for your support, even in this very difficult time. And seniors, as your head of school, I would like to thank you all for your commitment to work here and also your resolve to accomplish the standards set to graduate from this amazing school. I, went, I wish that this could have been an in-person celebration, but I hope you are feeling appreciated and honored by your school. We are so proud of you all.